I have overripe bananas, salt, all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, margarine, some eggs, and sugar. You guessed it. Yes, I am making banana bread. Welcome back to my channel. I need a bowl, a mico, a measuring cup, a tablespoon, and a teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and peel my bananas into a plate. Yep, they're super ripe. The browner they look outside, the tastier these guys are going to be in the banana bread. So if you enjoy these kinds of videos from me, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Then I'm going to go ahead and mash them up. Doing it in a plate with a fork is much easier. And since they are so overripe, mashing them is such an easy job. I pour the mashed bananas into the measuring cup. I have two cups of mashed banana. I'm going ahead to add the flour into the bowl and I will put the recipe in the description box below for those who are interested to try it and mind you the recipe calls for cups but I used Google to change it up to tablespoons so that it could be easier for me and I really love the recipe. I underestimated the amount of ingredients I needed so I got more supplies and doubled all my ingredients. So I will be making two loaves of bread instead of one, that is. I ended up using 56 tablespoons of flour. For the baking powder, I used four teaspoons. For the baking soda, I used a half a teaspoon. And finally for the salt, I went ahead and had one teaspoon. Here I have separated the salt, baking powder and baking soda. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix them all up. I am cracking some eggs separately just in case you know you can get a bad one in and I do not want to spoil the whole thing. So separately is best. And I used four whole eggs. Here I'm adding some sugar. When I doubled the recipe, it calls for 20 tablespoons of sugar, but I decided to use just 10. Then I add 10 tablespoons of margarine into the egg and sugar mixture. I'm going to go ahead and mix this all up. At this point, if you have an electric mixer, mixer it will work best. It is really tedious to do this by hand. And then I'm going to pour all this up into the flour and mix it all up. This is how it looks after mixing. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my banana and mix all that up. This is how my butter looks. It's sticky and gooey and I think it's ready. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my oven to preheat it to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to DIY or make my own baking pan. So I'm just going to use some foil over here. I just get a little and then a tin and mold it all in to make a baking tin.
this looks really good I'm happy with this project I'm just going to add my bread butter in here and then remove the plastic tin and place this on a harder surface so that it will not lose its shape here I'm just uh, oiling my pan with some margarine then I'm going to separate my butter into two so I'm adding this into my first tin spread it well make sure it looks really good and then remove it from the plastic tin, mold it a little, and it looks pretty solid. Then I'll repeat the whole process again, only that this time round, I will cut off the foil of the, of the roll, and it will be much easier to do this. And I don't know why I didn't think of it earlier. This is how they look. As I mentioned, I'll place some something solid at the bottom so that they do not collapse and it is time to bake. One hour later, the house smells so good and once you place the toothpick in and it comes out clean, that means my bread is ready. I'm turning off the heat and then removing my bread from the oven and placing them on a rack so that they can cool so that is all i did to make this banana bread i hope you enjoyed watching this video do the, all the good stuff like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye